Good morning, everyone. My name is Julie Yuval, and I am the head of marketing at Beck Technology. Today, we are going to be talking about navigating the Beck Tech Help Center and community. I'm thrilled to have Mike Jackson, who's one of our technical solution analysts here at Beck Technology. And I'm going to toss it over to you, Mike, if you want to uh, get us started in looking at the Help Center and community. Yes, thanks, Julie, and thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Um, so yeah, we're going to be taking a look at the Help Center and really how it can help you learn more about the products that we have and how it can serve as a valuable tool for when you need support or assistance with um, Estimator or any of the applications. So um, the main reason why we want to highlight the Help Center today is because we get a lot of tickets in support. I'm a member of the support team um, with Mo, the famous Mo, and uh, we get a lot of uh, help tickets every day um, for relatively simple challenges that can be overcome quite quickly um, with a quick search on the help center. Um, now, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. By all means, reach out to us. We're happy to help. And we know that everyone loves their human connection. Um, but there are times, you know, when you could be sending in a ticket and sitting in a ticket queue for half an hour, 45 minutes or an hour, you know, um, especially on busier days um, for, an, for an issue that can be solved within a minute or two on the help center so that's really the main thing we want to do today is just kind of highlight how useful this website um, can be for you all um, and so the first thing i want to do really is um, show the the main front page here so navigating the help center is pretty simple we have the main sections here which kind of you know they're self-explanatory they take you to either the application that you're using there's some beginner's guide stuff usually centered around kind of setup and very very early days when you're using the apps um, and of course more more in-depth stuff down here if especially if you're a part of the IT team or anyone in your IT team needs help with some of the stuff that we need for setup um, the uh, when you click into any of these, it brings you to the main, really the, the, the sort of meat of the website is this page here. Um, these sections on the left are the same as the main sections on the front page, and they can be expanded and contracted with these arrows. And then of course, all of the articles relevant to that topic are below. Now, I do wanna bring up actually that we are planning a bit of an overhaul when it comes to where the articles live on the site. Um, we've we've had some um, we've, we've had some meetings about how these articles could could be better placed and to make them easier to find without you having to search. Um, so if you're interested in a topic like 2D Takeoff, you can go here and find everything about 2D Takeoff. That's a pretty clear and defined category, but some of the others um, will be improving um, in the next few weeks. So the two, the, that's the first main way to navigate the site is to use the subsections here. Um, this is really good if you just wanna know everything about a specific topic, but uh, you know, honestly, the easiest way to get around the website is to use the search. Now, I just wanted to briefly touch on search because as with anything like Google search engines, there are more efficient ways to search. And, you know, the things to keep in mind is not to type out entire sentences. Um, the search engine really works best when you search for words that are the most specific thing about what you're going to support you about what you want to learn about or see. So, um, I'm going to give you some examples now, and this will sort of serve as um, uh, a good example of some important articles that you may want to keep in your bookmarks. Uh, so, for example, um, if this is for our hosted setup, guys. So, if you're a uh, uh, if you're using the hosted um, environment, which is the remote desktop, you um, it's quite often that you'll either move to a new laptop, or if you're a new user, you have new users set up and joining the company, you'll need to know the um, how to set up. You know, estimator in the hosted environment. So um, if you just search setup est right away, you see on the first first result here is how to set up estimator in the hosted environment. This um, is the first of um, a few articles I just want to show you that are quite important. This is something you might want to bookmark. Do people still use bookmarks? <laughs> I have a terrible memory, so I tend to bookmark a lot of stuff because I easily forget what I need. This is one of the main pages that people will be using um, for setup. Um, it's useful if you have new people joining the company. If your laptop decides it doesn't want to play nice anymore and you need a new one, um, this, this is the article that get you from zero to up and running step-by-step um, -step guide. So this is very important and it's so useful. Uh, it's, it's used every day by some of the bigger companies. So yeah, definitely keep this one saved. The next one will be password resets. Of course, um, dreaded password issues are something that 
haunt us all. Um, and if you type password reset in the search bar, you'll see that the first thing that comes up is how to set your reset, how to reset your password. Again, this is just for hosted clients. This is for those of you who sign in on the remote desktop and who may have issues there. Um, and this 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 article is really short. Basically, it's just this is the important bit. It's a link to the Microsoft web page that shows you um, that lets you reset your own password. This is something that you can send a ticket into support for, and we can do it for you. But you know, like I said, half an hour. You know, whereas this can take a minute or two. Now, for for on-prem uh, guys, you know, people, those of you who have uh, estimator installed on your machines locally. Um, the, by far the most important article for you would be the downloads. Um, so the downloads, we, we, we made this page recently. This is a download page just to basically contain all of the latest versions of the software. So you never need to go searching around in um, installation guides or anything for these. You can just, you come to this page, you can bookmark this page. This page will be continually updated and it has um, the latest version of the application, some older versions here if you may need them and um, all of the other sort of techie IT style installation files and then links to the instructions as well. So super, super useful. Um, and the last one I wanna talk about, the last pages I wanna talk about are here at the bottom of the main page, you'll see our um, product updates, which is basically really useful for seeing what was added to the latest version of the application. And this is useful if you wanna know if an issue that you may be having has been fixed in the update. Um, right here is where you will find that kind of information. Um, the, the in development section is kind of a midterm, so it's, it's projects that are currently being worked on for imminent updates that are coming, and then in planning gives you a nice sort of roadmap of what's to come in the, in the near future. Um, so next I wanna to touch upon sort of the other part of this site. Now, um, getting information from it is good, but sometimes you just really wanna reach out to support, and you can actually do that both via email or via the website. So, um, if you click on uh, submit a support ticket, it will bring you to the, uh, the the form for this. You click your categories as best you can. It's not super important. Um, fill in the information, fairly self-explanatory. Make sure you use your work email here and you will see that there's an opportunity to attach a file. One quick tip for support tickets. Um, if you can, if you're having an error or an issue with the application, try and retrieve that log file um, and attach it so that we can see what's going on under the hood. Um, so, yeah, you can access this and send a ticket through here. Now, um, this doesn't require any kind of sign up or login, um, as, as, uh, which is the same for everything I've shown you so far. You can use everything I've shown you so far about the website without signing in. Um, but it, uh, the customer portal is, uh, does require a sign in. So you can make an account for this. And once you sign in, you will see a view of all of the tickets that you've made. And if you click on this drop down, it's a really useful option here to see all of the tickets that are were submitted by other members of your organization. And this can be useful, for example, if you're having issues with a specific estimate, like it won't save or, or the totals are wrong. Um, and if multiple estimators are in that estimate, it can be the case sometimes that someone else has already opened a ticket for that. And, and that's a good way to find out about that. Now, back from the on the uh, on the home page. You'll see this link here for product ideas and discussions, and this is really um, the the final thing I wanted to show you guys. So, the when you click on here, you'll be brought to a login screen. Now, this the the one nuance of this is uh, all of the help center, uh, the help guides that I showed you, and submitting a ticket. That's part of our new um, website. Um, we're still using um, a small slice of our old website for community aspects. So this is a separate sign in. Um, fortunately, you can sign in quite easily with your Microsoft account, which I know most of you will be using for your work email. Um, but failing that, you can use your Google, uh, your Facebook is an option, or you can just make its own stand, your own uh, standalone account for this. Uh, and many of you may already have accounts for this because this is the website we used to use for ticketing. So you may already have an account for this and not even know it might even pre-fill in like mine does here. Once you sign in, you'll see two main parts for this website. So this is the community website. This is what we refer to as the community. And on the left here, you'll see the ideas and enhancement requests. Now, quite often we'll get a ticket from clients saying, hey, I wanna do this. And uh, I don't think that's a part of this application. It would be really nice. And that's fine. You can absolutely send um, requests for, for features straight to support via a ticket. 
Um, but this is really the, pl the place where um, uh, you, you can submit those things without having to <clears throat> submit a ticket. You can go here and you can see uh, other, other ideas that other clients have had as well, which is useful for um, perhaps refining or getting ideas of your own. And we keep an eye on these, um, roll them into our future plans. And then this section on the right here is um, a good opportunity for you to basically collaborate with other clients. And some, so you know, as you can see, some some people use this as a way of sort of gathering knowledge about over a, a particular topic or issue that they may be having, um, or even just for simple support questions that they may have. And you know, this is this is this is where some of our community members really stand out in helping each other, um, just collaborating and coming together with good ideas and and and. Um, good support solutions for workflows and things like that. So, yeah, both of these are worth taking a look at. So, a quick overview then, um, just to wrap up, we've got two main websites, our help center where you get help articles and you can submit some more support tickets and see your support tickets. And we have our community website where you can submit ideas and collaborate with other clients. Um, and with that, I'll turn the stage back over to Julie. Thank you, Mike. Um, so also, we had a question come in about, uh, are these webinars saved on the Help Center site? They have not, but that's a really good suggestion and we will start doing that. So um, all of our webinars are saved on our YouTube channel. And also for everyone who is registered today, you're gonna get this recording in your inbox, um, but we can also start to save these in the Help Center too. So I appreciate that suggestion. Um, Mike, can you show people, if they're not familiar with how to get to the Help Center, if they were to go to the Beck Tech website, can you show them where to access the Help Center? We have our own, Mike uses uh, all of our bookmarks and it's very easy. And then if you go under the resources, there's a drop down, and you can see right there is the Help Center. So yeah, that's that easy access right. to the Help Center. Um, okay, questions come in. Can I see tickets from everyone in my company or is it just the tickets the individual has submitted? So it's you can see both, and that's a it's it's in the drop down. So if you're in the customer portal, um, it defaults to my tickets. So that will be the tickets that you specifically sent, and then you can click on the view tickets, and you'll see organization tickets, and that should show you all of the tickets that have been submitted by those in the same company as you. Fantastic. And then uh, last question as we're wrapping up time: Is the community is it? private or public? Is this open to everyone on the interwebs or is this only for um, Beck Tech users? The, the community side is actually it's open. Um, anyone can sign up and make an account. There's no licensing required. So as long as you've made an account, you can go in there and take a look and collaborate and post as, as you will. Perfect. Thanks, Mike, uh, for showing us around the Help Center and our community. Everyone, thank you for joining us for this 15 minute, very short webinar. If you do have questions, feel free to reach out to Bike Tech and we will get those answered for you or use our help center and hopefully that can um, answer questions for you as well. Everyone have a great Tuesday and we will see you later.